guys just stay right there because the other people won't get a shot, all right? You guys all put together there. Put your arms around each other. There you go. not uh, used to doing these things, but I'll tell you what, while I was a prisoner of war in Japan, we did a lot of talking to the man upstairs, so I'll talk to him today. Dear Lord, you're here, they're a good friend of mine, paid the full price, and uh, please look after him up there in heaven. He was one of the warriors that helped win. World War II. And my thoughts go to him and those others who were killed in his airplane. Amen. 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 So, um, that's not plastic, that's glass. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he went through the windshield and was thrown out up on uh, the edge of the runway. And, that's uh, about the as thick crashed. as what they call bulletproof, our mm -hmm. bulletproof windshield. Actually, this was. <laughs> Two layers, it was that thick. Wow. wow. <laughs> well, mine was just this thickness, one thickness, and then it had the plexiglass in front of that. Yeah, this was laminated together, so it was, uh, this second, it was actually that yeah. 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 And he went through that. Yeah. Right on the runway, so you can see why it killed him. Yeah. Pilot. There's armor plate and steel between us. up there in Colorado Springs. This came out of San Antonio. Take a picture of me and Dad. Southwell. Yeah. But I, it was kind of funny. I don't remember how I found out about it. I was talking to Bill Southwell someplace. And, and uh, uh, I knew that. Bill mentioned going to some meeting someplace. Hold still. And, uh, I'd heard Steve still. Smith. Yeah, stuff all over. Steve Smith on there. People have grown up and, and aren't educated. They don't teach it in history, in school. Uh, all these people out here are so thankful. Uh, people your age is one after another. Thanks for being a veteran. Thanks for giving us our freedom. Back in the States, they don't know what we did. Um, to, to, for them to know what, what I did with a B-29, that me a Kent, is this your first time here? Yes, sir. What do you think? Good. It's good to see that uh, they have some memorials. It's good to be here to see, you know, where my grandfather was stationed and what part of life, you know, he would have experienced. So. Much different than the way we get to live in the States these days, huh? True. Yeah. Things have changed much since Very 1945. Very much. <laughs>
combined Army and Navy efforts. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, we'll give you a little credit. <laughs> okay. Hold her down. I will do. Well, they, do some, they do some extra. Boy, down in this pit, see the concrete yeah. right here? My, uh, Right Gunner and I just lived with 100 pence CB protection. We had our own mess trays and our own bunks and everything over there. We weren't flying a mission. They also had that. We were with 110 CBs. We were there uh, eating one time. I was a master sergeant and he was a staff sergeant. We were eating dinner and this chief petty officer came on and slipped in between us. And he said, you know, they're going to bring a great big bomb out here. And we're building a building for them to assemble it in. And we're not building the right. So the specs say to pour some concrete, and lay this metal a certain way, and then pour some more concrete, and lay this metal the other way. And he said, the officer over there was saying, just, just throw it in. Yeah, they did it all that <laughs> and he said, I'm going to be on this island when that bomb comes out. Well, we had heard of a big bomb that the British had, called that they nicknamed City Buster. And we figured it was real long. When the 509th airplanes came out, we thought, hey, what did they do with that center wing? to get that big bomb in there. Of course, it was the atom bomb. But you can imagine our feeling Something when that first atom bomb was dropped and we're living not too far away. I'd say we live within a half a mile here. All right. <clears throat> and, and here's that atom bomb not in that building wasn't built right. See, that's what's in the history books, Norm. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are so many things that went on out here and everything. Uh, probably a lot of people more interesting stories than me. Well, many of them. Not to me. <clears throat> <laughs> Opens up a whole it, new world. This kind of